joining me for this segment. We have Megan Roller. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're great very to see you. nice today. That's because I'm going to the opening of Clip after this. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, we had Chuck on last week oh, cool. talking about it. Um, talk to us. Tell us what uh, the, the Clip Film Festival. Well, I guess it's its 19th year, right? So, so this festival. I know. Quite... Can you believe it's in 19 years? Oh, well, actually, the, I was thinking back of the first time I ever went to Clip. I was in high school. In all honesty, so it's been around for a while. I was in high school 19 years ago. Yeah. But it wasn't Clip, it was just the... It was Tampa Gay and Lesbian International, International Film, Film Festival. Festival. Right. So tonight it's open, it starts tonight. It starts tonight, it starts at 7 with uh, Ruby Blue, which is a movie starring Bob Hoskins. And then uh, for those who want to watch the VP debate, they're actually going to play that on the big screen afterwards. Really? So you don't have to choose, you can do both. I think that's amazing. Now, everybody that's going to be there is obviously going to be going against, uh, or, uh, what's his name? I can't think of it. Who's the vice president for Democrats? Biden. Biden, that's it. <laughs> so tell us about the film festival. It runs for how long? What, what are we going to see there? Where, what movie theaters are going to be having it? It runs from the 2nd to, I believe, the 11th. Uh, okay. The screenings are at Tampa Theater. Uh, there will be all kinds of movies. And I, w I do want to emphasize the point that there will be movies that will appeal to not only a gay audience, but to a straight audience as well. Well, there's, there's stuff for children. There's, isn't there, I believe that there, there is something made by, for youngers. I mean, maybe not okay. children, but teenagers. I think there's uh, an activity, there's a day for kids, yes. On one of those days. And then, are they in St. Petersburg too? Aren't they on both sides of the bay? That I'm honestly not sure about. Do you know of any of the movies that we might I know that throughout the year, they, what they've started to do is implement this screening series throughout the year so that Clip isn't just in October, right. and those screenings take place on both sides of the bay. Okay. This week, I'm mostly aware of it being a Tampa theater. Okay. Um, what are some of the other things that are going on this weekend? I mean, I know Peter Wolfing is everywhere. They've got tons of things happening. What's going on? It is, it's really going to be an incredible week if you love film, because not only, of course, is Clip going on, uh, which there's a ton of parties associated with that, too. Oh, tell us about the parties. <laughs> well, there's a, a men's party and a women's party. Both of them are, I believe, really? next weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you know, whatever. So the women can't go to the you're into. and the men's No, can't no, go you, can, you can go to whichever party oh, you want. Okay. okay. <laughs> Um, so there's that going on. There's also this weekend the uh, Gasparilla Film Festival is sponsoring their uh, World Cinema Series over at the studio at 620. Right, right. And that's this weekend. So that's a little mini festival. There's also, I believe, a, a crime film festival at UT. So if you love movies, it's going to be a hard weekend to sort of pick and choose. Okay, what else is there going on if you don't want to go see a movie? Surely there's some. You could, there's plenty of art stuff. Tomorrow night, uh, uh, opening takes place in St. Peter C. Emerson Fine Arts. Okay. It's new sculpture by Frank Strunk. He's a St. Pete artist who does rusted he, metal work. Yeah, and he also had some uh, the clothing in, yes. in, a, in one of the, the play, or not plays, the fashion show that's one ago. At, at in the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. Did you go to that? I did not go this year. I was out of town. Okay. But I went last year. It's fabulous, always. And he does those little racy metal things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. almost like fetishy, almost. Exactly. Oh, it can be, borderline. <laughs> what else? Is there, if I, is there anything else going on? There are two this comedians way? in town. Uh, Louis Black is here, and so is that guy who hosts Talk Soup. Joel McHale. He's here as well. They're both here at the Tampa Bay Performing Arts Center. Gotcha. Thank you very much for coming down here. I know that you're in a hurry to get to your, your 7 o'clock. I'm excited. Your thing. Uh, how's everything else going? Great. Fabulous. You been busy? Oh, yeah. I'm glad it's fall. Don't you love it when you start to feel a little cool? When I woke up this morning, my hair didn't completely frizz up. I thought that was great. That's awesome. Megan, thank you very much. I'd like thank to go you. to the clip thing. Have fun tonight. You're going down to the... You know what, no better place to have it than the Tampa Theater. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, we're going to take our next break. As soon as I come back, we're going to be chatting with Brian Callen. Media Talk is presented by Tampa Digital Studios, sponsored by the Creative Loafing, and we'll see you right back here in about 60 seconds.